Hello everyone, Gigs here once again for another Constantium base tour and today we are at the site of Lilu Town. So for those of you who don't know Lilu, um, IGN is Fat Lilu and has been on the server for quite a long time, in fact I think almost from the very beginning and also came across from to be like some of our other previous players. Sorry, I say previous players, current players. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> um, Lily still plays on the server even now. Um, so very, very happy to see when Lily logs in each day. A bit quiet in the chat, but obviously is, as you can see from what we can see in the town here, a very busy, busy builder. So where are we going to start? Hmm. I think we're going to pop on over to this tower here. I know where I want to end this tour. Starting it's another thing altogether. So this was a solo base, literally based here and built all of these builds. Um, so let's head on. I think it's don't think there's anything in here. I think it is just purely a little tower. It is just a little bit awkward to get up inside of here. Looks like it is just a tower. Just a lighthouse. There we go. Up we go. Yeah. So it's just the lighthouse. Very cool looking though. Nice little light in the middle there. Let's see how long it takes us to get out of here. <laughs> ah, there we go. It was a lot easier to get out than it was to get in. A very nice looking tower though. The granite sort of gives it a nice bit of colour to it. Perfectly sort of situated for as you come into the dock, into the main area of the town. Well here we are, the first building that we're going to come up against or into. Very nice, very welcoming. I like the banner. Almost the purple almost glows against the grey brick. Welcome to Lilu Town, established July 2016. So quite an older base. Hello. Grim Frostbrit Northern Moonbeer. Hello. Hello? No? Just gonna show us your backside. Hello. Grumpy Bear. And he's off back to his corner. So let's head on into the town now that we've passed through immigration. Um, what shall we? I love the look of these buildings, like the the mixture of the cobblestone, the stone, different variations of brick, chiselled brick, and then you've got the wood intermingled with it. It's very cool. Got a bit of a mini cocoa bean set up here. Now this, we can't go into this building here. This is actually the outside of Lily's Darkroom Spawner. But it's a really cool building to have a look at. All the different sort of shape and dimension that the use of the stairs um, have given it and then up the middle here you've got the cobblestone fences very cool we'll go in the front entrance to this tower so yeah that's access down the bottom in order to get to the chests and things for the um Darkroom Spawner. So, Lilu Tower, first building in Lilu Town, July 2016. So, we'll, so there's an exit door on all the different sides. Garbage can. We go up the middle here. So, you can tell that this tower was base of operations, um, especially sort of earlier on in the piece. Got a bit of a nano farm, um, smeltery set up here, a whole heap of storage. Um, all the different blocks, building blocks and bits and pieces. Head on up again. 
the acacia wood logs are a really nice um, contrast against the stone as well it sort of it stands out but at the same time it kind of blends in all the brewing setup no point in having a ginormous netherwalk farm you don't use that much of it uh, rail duper carpet duper rails Carpet, nice little set up here. This is the final floor. Got the bed and Panga Ban. I probably pronounced that wrong. I'm sorry, kitty cat. I'm sorry. A very cool tower. Um, where should we go? Let's go down these buildings and then down around. So each of these three buildings here that you can see, they're all tree farms. So you've got um, birch and oak, you've got, I think it's jungle and spruce there and dark oak and acacia down the end there. Now in here we have donkey dog. Did I miss a sign? Did I miss a sign? Oh, fully automatic flower machine. We'll finish bone meal. Main power down is off, up is on, and click the start button. Oh, there we go. Ooh, very clever. And each time the water comes down, it pushes the last lot of flowers down towards the end. Very cool. Handy dandy. We all need flowers. Very good. Can't help myself. I have to check chests. <laughs> and what do we have in here? So this is, oh, cactus farm. Cactus collection disabled due to overflow. A lot of cactus there. It's one of those things that I've done it myself before. You build these great big cactus farms and then realize that you really probably only needed about four of them. Um, it's just initially in order to get up a bit of a stockpile, you need to have a few sitting there. I like the vines against these buildings. It looks cool. Sugarcane farm. Looks like this is a manual collection. Again, once you've sort of get yourself going you don't use these farms very often like you'd use them initially to do some trading with your villagers you might do it a little bit to get some emeralds up but once you've got all your gear set up and you're good to go um, unless you're pvping and losing all your gear there's no point to it Lilu town arts and culture center hmm. Ooh, some banners now these are going to stump me because I don't know everybody's banners. I'm actually really bad at remembering banners. Hill. <laughs> Except for here. I know that is Doggy's banner because I've seen it on his builds and this is mine. There we go. Oops, and there were some more flaws to this. I don't think there's anything on the other floor, so I think it's empty. Obviously, all set up and ready to add more as they were found. It's a really nice building, though. Like, I really like this. It doesn't exactly fit with the theme of the other builds, but it's an arts and culture centre. It doesn't have to. But it's a standalone building. It's really, really nice. And it does actually, there's a building that we will see last. This actually suits that building really well. It's very nice. And I suppose the stone kind of ties it back into there. Again, the use of the stairs just give it a really nice bit of extra dimension. Very nice. I like. Um, yeah, so again, these are the... tree farms and everything and I've just remembered 
that I missed out on something all the way over here. So now we need to go all the way back to the tower because there are things for us to see. Let's head on into here and the store here. We missed the store here. Nearly forgot it. So down here we've got the darkroom loot, uh, slime, skellies and spiders. Dark spawn loot pickup, beware of survivors. <laughs> I guess, yeah. I mean, I know I have had, um, like especially I suppose if they're coming from the lower floor, I have had zombies and skellies survive, especially if they've got feather falling fall boots on. Um, they can survive these falls. <gasps> Oh no, we've got a couple of... I'm sorry I showed that. You missed a couple. But obviously it was giving out a bit of loot when it was afk Again, something that's very handy early on, but once you get yourself established, is less needed. And you'll see as we sort of head on down here, um, Lilu has like a zombie spawner. I don't know if they're fancy or whether or not they're just stock standard. Let's head on down there and look. Down, 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 down. Oh, yeah, no, they're just stock standard grinders, so we won't go down and see all the grinders. Um, but there's skellies, spiders, and this zombie one. So, apart from gunpowder, um, and definitely gunpowder is needed, and you'll see why as we go and visit one of the buildings soon. Um, it is definitely needed. Now, this is a neat hallway, and again, this is where the slime farm is down there, and we've got a couple of other spawners here, but I want to head on over to Hunting Outpost Echo. So this is basically the edge of the base, and we're going to there, so I'm going to cut out here um, again there's no point us going and seeing the spawners that are stock standard spawners um, but I'm going to head on over to outpost echo and I will show you that once I get there okay so here we are at outpost echo and you can just kind of almost see Lilu town in the background there so if we head on over down here you can see Enderman Hunting Outpost Echo. It's just a little bit of a spot where you imagine you stand up here, stare at the Enderman, and then jump down here and kill them off. So just a little handy place to be able to do that. Um, nothing's hugely spectacular, but I just wanted to show it off. Still a nice little building out here in the desert. Again, using the acacia um, and the stone mix. Now I'm going to go zooming all the way back over there, so I'll see you over there. Okay, here we are back in the town. So I've just sort of popped over here to the fireworks lab as my next stop because it's still night time and I want to show off the lab while it is night time and we can see the full effects. So we head on here into here and see that there's all... The dyes here, which the flower farm and the cactus farm would have helped with. Um, fire charges, bits and pieces, and lots of gunpowder that the dark room would have helped with. So let's head on up here. So we don't have anything on this floor, but up here we've got some sort of fancy dancy system set up here with all these dispensers. And if we head on over here, we've got the main circuit, or arm circuit, so we arm the circuit, and then we start the launch by clicking the button, and let's click the button, and look at that. Now I'm going to break the glass so that we can actually get out there and see it. How cool is that? That is just cool. I would love have one of these set up at my bases. I think I would use up all my gunpowder <laughs> so much. But that is such a cool setup. Yay! Let's turn it back up again. Although this is going to be a very, very loud 
that all of them otherwise it's going to be a very loud um, tour for the rest of it with those going off well, that's a very nifty nifty idea Lilu I'm really impressed I love it very well set up so done that building this one is pumpkins and melons again manual farming by the looks of it in here is the stables I just want to really like this building too a bit of a bell tower type look to it a bit of a sneak peek at the gold farm over there There are no horses in here, so I'm not sure whether that means that they were elsewhere or hadn't been populated yet. Um, again, I really like the inside of this. It's a really nice build. Very, very cool. So, mm, 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 mm. yes. It's quite a... Um, a very big solo base and there's little buildings sort of off the side everywhere like I know we haven't been over into that one yet and there's a garden over there that we're yet to go into now there's nothing in here but I'm suspecting this was an animal area sheep there we go sheep seeds wheat yeah which of course she would have uh, sheep would have been needed for um, the oh my brain's gone again the carpet duper that's what I was trying to think of the carpet duper and over here now how pretty is that for a gold farm that Spoiler alert, spoiler alert. Um, that is cool. This looks so nice and tidy. And again, just more detail. I like this, again, the use of the stairs here. Make sure the cobble and the stone brick. Oh, look, there's even a pattern in the floor underneath the water there. So nicely detailed. And it's a drop kill method where the zombie pigmen are dropping down and dying and their drops are going into the chest there. It's very nice. Very impressive. I like. Now this building over here, which is the last in this corner here. Because those are again those three tree glass houses um, you've got obviously your purr purr there uh, got potatoes carrots beetroot and wheat it's all the essential farming areas and again all nicely packaged up in a nice building I mean they all sort of look like high-rise apartment style buildings you know the ones with the vines on them almost look abandoned very cool so before we head on over to there where you saw the ship um, there was a little there we go off the back end of the tower it's got this nice little oasis resting spot all the different variations of flowers fishing so just a nice little but you can come here and do a little bit of fishing if you want to sort of chill out it's very cool I really like the look of that very peaceful so let's go zipping that was our fireworks lab so the sheep were let's go heading on over to here I sort of don't like flying I sort of would do prefer to sort of jump around and explore the bases um, as if I was doing it sort of through visiting them but when you get to bases this far spread out it just takes so long to run in between all the buildings so over here we've got um, 
what I imagine was probably an original village that's just been transformed a little bit. Um, again, we've got the mixture of the different um, stone variations with cobblestone. Obviously, a bit of a breeding setup going with all the extra doors. But at the same time, it almost makes it look like a series of units all sort of sitting together. So it's all nicely done. Um, and a few villages sort of hiding in some of the houses. We've got Frosty's Books. Frosty's Books of Ice Walking. Also Flame and Infinity. Protection Town, Prop 4. Lilu, Looting Man's Loot Deposit. Looting Man's Loot Depot. Oh my lord, where's my tongue today? Also Binding and Fire Prop 1 Binding. Cursor Binding. <gasps> That's a pain in the butt. They've just got a few little villagers hiding about the place. Fortune Guy's Lucky Stuff. Also Respiration 1. Do we have anyone hiding down here? We do. Weapon Tool Man Efficiency 3 Sharp 4. Nobody in there. And who's over here? Ah, Mending Guy. Well, it's punch and prop three. So very cool. So let's head on over to up here. And what have we got here? Ferry service to South Lilu Town. This is where you come in and you get your ticket. Get checked off to say that you can go. And then you can head on over onto the boat. So we've got South Lilu Town Ferry and to the Garden Tower. Nice little boat. Much nicer looking than the um, boats that Mojang have created for 1.13. Very cool. Very nice. So we're going to get ready to set sail over to South Lilu Town and I will see you over there. Well, that didn't quite work out. The boat abandoned me and chucked me in the life raft. Mm. So let's head on over this way. And as we head on over here, you will start to see what I think is one of my favorite builds. On the server now I'm not saying there aren't a heap of my favorite builds but I love this it is cool and the size of it what have we got here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten levels if you count that top bit that's huge. Like I know they get smaller, but even that bottom one is just big. And then over the side there, we've got another town. But look, that town looks like it's just been left intact. And it's just its normal little self. So let's head on over here. So this isn't a majorly filled up build. I don't know if it was still in progress. Uh, but... It still doesn't take away from the fact that it's just a gorgeous build. I'm going to fly around the outside in a second, but I'm just going to go inside to make sure that I was correct in the fact that there's nothing really in here. We've got a sign to read. South Lilu Town Garden Tower, September 2018. Yeah, so I think, I think this was griefed in October. 2018 so definitely still a work in progress you'll see that it goes up there so I'm going to climb up the stairs because that can be a bit of a pain but look at the size of this place and all these slabs sort of different um, got quartz and the concrete here it's quite amazing how the concrete takes on a bit of a grayish tinge when you put it up against quartz but it looks quite cool sort of takes away from the quartz being so stark it's very nice 
put some trees on this level here again sort of nice details around the build flowers you know we're talking about hand placed flowers because obviously these are swamp biome flowers all the different tree types again another empty level don't know what plans Leo had for um, these empty levels another gardeny style level central area different flowers so yes you have got the um, the dandelions and the poppies but here you've got the lilac flower versus the blue orchid down there few tulips on this one here again just all the nice sort of flower area another level there more trees and another little layer of trees it just looks really really cool and again so this is the building that I thought fitted in well with the um, art and culture center is there anything up the very, very, very tippy top? No, it's empty. So this part isn't completely round. It is actually, oops, you can't tell from there. <laughs> oh, this side is different shaped. So you can sort of see as I sort of come around here that it's not a complete round circle. There's actually shape to it. So cool, so much detail. Would have taken so much time to actually put all this together. So cool. I might pop some shaders on. Well, very low level shaders. I pop some shaders on and see if I get a nice screenshot for my um, thumbnail. Well, that's really cool. I think that is an ideal place for us to leave this tour. Um, Lilu, uh, you are such an amazing builder. I'm just so impressed with what you've done here at your solo base. And I look forward to seeing more of your builds. I know that I got to see your desert outpost as well, which I loved. Um, I hope that the reason we get to see more of your builds isn't because they get griefed, though. Thank you, everyone, so much for joining me on this tour. I really enjoyed showing off someone's builds once again. It's just, you know, people's creativity just blows my mind. Now, until the next base tour on the next video you have a great day